58 seconds until I start singing. Yeah, but I'm saying that's not even the intro, bro. This is the intro. You're thinking of the fucking chorus. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. Ma. Not it, dude. We only go to the gym three days a week, and then the, the other days I actually so, go out and do so whatever. So three videos a week, it's gonna be us going to the gym. You no, it's not, dude. This is a small that. portion of it, though. I just update what's going on with the F-150. You know what I mean? Nothing changes. I mean, miles, miles update. What? No one cares about that. Yeah, how's the I truck? I don't even care about that. Dude, you don't even keep up with the meat. Yeah, see? So why should I care about the miles? Though? So we're going to see how strong this truck is without any oil changes. Okay. Yo, what you got there? <laughs> you got your truck bed. That's how you, that's how you transfer your lunch. I literally threw it in the back of walk out of the gym. To eat it today. No, I was going to eat on the way. Here today, but. Jump in the old gorge. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> Big freeze. <laughs> Muddy bog. And you guys went out last night. Mike said, What's going on? Yeah, it was awesome, dude. I saw some deer right here. Oh my gosh. This is going. like, this is the uh, M Monster, bro. Something so good. <laughs> this is disgusting, dude. Dude, how... And you can't grab them either, you know what I mean? And you're touching it. Well, I don't know how else I'm going to get it off. Oh, oh my no. gosh. How much bad luck do you go through in a day? A lot. Every morning, what's that Spongebob thing when he says every morning I'm going to break my legs or something? <laughs> it's like the paper mache cast or whatever. Oh I'm my gosh. Chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. That's what happens to me every morning. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's meow, 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 meow. That song. In the box. The main line. In the box. What's the main? All right, see you, Rastafarian. All right, 2 a.m. tonight, 2 a.m. <laughs> What's the, how's the main line go again? That's not the main line. Yes, it is. No, the chorus. It sounds familiar, but he lit fireworks off in the school? No, 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 the state capitol like two years ago. What is up guys? So one of the things that I love about this truck is that it does have a perfect location for the camera. I love that spot. It's very easy to just plop it there and it doesn't move or anything of that nature. So I'm thinking about getting some seat covers in here. Not really sure. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know because I don't want to get something bad as the Silverado will. Actually, now that I tied it up, it's pretty good, but I mean, I haven't driven that truck a few days now. I kind of, I am missing it. I. I'm not saying that I forgot about it, but I'm missing a lot. Yeah, man, today is the day. All my friends are going out and just partying it up late night in downtown and all that kind of stuff. I got stuff to attend to. We got to try out that truck today, that brand new diesel. So I just, it's not brand new. I guess it's a few years, but it's lifted, it's deleted, it's amazing. And it would be a pretty cool upgrade from this truck. So I'm, I'm really thinking about it. I'm weighing all my odds here. I'm also thinking about a brand new one. So it really, it really is hard. And that's why it's kind of pushing back this build. But of course I want to get the Silverado build back. I want to do a couple more mods of that. And then of course we can do more with this because I mean, nice weather is really close and we're about to be hitting that hot temperatures that I love so much. So I take a highway to school that I don't know, it's just not used as much, very smooth roads. Everybody's going about 70 because there's really no bumps or anything, it's perfect. Hey, but I noticed I, whenever I bumped it down a little bit, let's say 60 today, I'm actually going up on the lyometer there as a, for the average, but I actually average better whenever I hand calculate. <laughs> Huge whip on it. 
So I was thinking, you know, I need to get a new lens or a new camera or something. I'm really gonna be, I'm probably gonna look tonight or something, guys. Basically holding it above the dash right now. And you may be thinking, well, I mean, what is wrong with that? It's just kind of, it's too far. It's too far. It's any other camera, you don't have to hold it this far. I'm excited for this. I'm gonna see what I can do. But this truck is just amazing, and I'm gonna have to really inspect the underneath and everything, of course. But it's also gonna give me a great idea on how these 3.42 gears will do with a 6.7 Cummins of one of the newer years, 13 up. No, since 2010, the fourth gen body style has been up, but all parts and aftermarket accessories, even maintenance schedules, are different between the 10 to 12 and the 13 up. So you may be saying, well, you already have a fourth gen. What are you worried about? Well, it's it's actually really different in a lot of ways, especially the Ram Active Air. So I need to build a house up on top of that mountain, man. It'd be pretty sick. Look at that lifted silver rod. Nice. Europe, look at that mountain right there. Anyways, so you see that Ram? Perfect view of it right there. It's actually an eco diesel, at least has the badge on it. 3.0 eco diesel. I think they get 27 highway. It's pretty crazy, man. And they're 1500, so they sit pretty low. And because it's a small diesel, well, I don't know, they made it silent. Oh, another Tesla. Oh my god. There it is. Cycle. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but look, they actually buy Rams here, nice. Just gotta turn around some more. So you guys may not know this, but this Toyota right here, this Toyota dealership, I was actually looking at the Silverado that I was potentially going to buy. It was a blue one, a 2012 though, with a bottom floor shifter, and it was an LS package, and it was sitting right up there featured, and it was either that one or the blue one that you see on the channel today. So that's something you guys probably didn't know. All right, guys, back here at the Ram dealer, and we got some nice cars. But what I'm gonna do is try to find that truck I was looking at, and I think it's back here, but it's... So here's the truck I was looking at, man. Right off the bat, I noticed that it's got a different antenna, is it? Is that, that's no way that's factory, a black antenna. Might have been painted as I'm looking at it. But anyways, here it is, man. It's a 15. I don't know what lift is on it, but there's definitely a lift or a level on it. It's probably just a level. Oh, yeah. Just a two-inch spacer, probably. And let's see. Uh, spacer there. And so we got works, wheels. And it's 3512.5 R20. Open Country Toyo open country all terrains it's a nice truck man there's the interior i love the new ram interior honestly it's not much that would change it man it's actually really nice if you can see anything in there i'm not sure it's very glare glary today that's a word so <laughs> we got the straight pipe exhaust look at that pipe dude oh my gosh oh one of the things I want to look at was the underneath and honestly it looks really good for being a salt belt truck I'm assuming its whole life look at that man it's a very nice truck I'm telling you what let's look under the frame here it's actually looking a lot better than a 15 that I looked at in Lemoyne look at that man it's honestly not corroded at all maybe a little bit but Look at that. It's 
real nice. Made in America. Turnover ball, goose, neck, hitch, made in America, man. Here's the other side of this, the rear end. It's looking really good. They must have kept it washed and took care of it. So this spare barely fits in there is what I'm saying. Holy cow. Look at all the axle support that you have. All that traction, man, compared to the MyRam where there's just nothing. I'm telling you, they changed a lot in 13. The only thing that this truck is missing is some cab lights on the top. That don't be good. Here's the front end, the front axle. It's actually looking really nice here, too. Definitely a different axle than what's on my ram. Looks thicker. Very nice. Look at that. It's honestly just dirty. It's really nice condition. It's beautiful, man. Gotta love it. Love the badging on these new trucks. So basically, you need some cab lights. Just need some cab lights and that'll look pretty good. Cab lights and tow mirrors, then I'll be right on par. Look at that. The clock heater's actually right here on this truck and they took off the well the, the ground for some reason, but that's where that is on this truck. That's cool. I don't have to feed it down through here like mine. Got corrosion going on there. It's not too bad. It's so nice, man. All right, guys, we are back in the truck. Hopefully it focuses. There we go. So I just test drove the 2015. I'm sorry, guys, I couldn't bring you along. I mean, it's just weird. I don't know if I'd be able to. I didn't have a friend with me to help me record now. For the future ones, I think I will. But that was very nice. I really also wanted to focus on the driving instead of the filming and everything. I was going on some back roads with 35s on how big these trucks are. And they're getting bigger and bigger all the time. Every single year, they're getting huge. I know that the new Silverado 1500 is getting bigger. But whatever. whatever. Let's get back to with the test drive. So that was so amazing. Honestly, night and day difference. I didn't admit that. It's, it's the truth. It is a night and day difference. The shifting is it's so much different. It's smoother. Shifted less than this truck. So that's kind of crazy. This being a 373 gear ratio. I know the power is different, the RPMs have switched on the new engines, and of course they have a lot more traction, a lot more axle support on both axles, and different axles too, it's crazy, at least by the looks of it. I just, I can't even <laughs> explain how nice of a drive that was. On 35s, you couldn't even tell. I was messing, oh yeah, it had a power switch on it too, that was crazy, I love that so much, it had a nice power switch, 1 to 5 on it. I tried to ask what was the tuner, I asked one of the service guys, they didn't know what it was, there was no box or anything, it was just, you know, the simple... EGR delete kit, DPF was gone, a five inch straight pipe exhaust, and I was I was going through the tunes and I switched it up to five on it's close to the, the ending of the drive and everything, and honestly, it just there's so much power, I can't even believe how nice that thing rides, and it's basically as if those tires were not there at all, if it was just running on stock tires, maybe even smaller than stock tires, but you cannot tell 35s are on it, the sound system is a lot different, it sounds a lot more clear, there's a lot more bass, it sounds really nice, I guess all the interior stuff you're not really, you don't really care about, I'd still get a nice monitor, an edge monitor or something, but still, man, it was such a nice ride. I, I don't even know what to do. It's it's a very hard decision. I know we need a couple things, exterior stuff, cab lights. Why well, do we even have that? But I'm saying a spread and bed liner, and I think it needs the tow mirrors. But still, that thing was nice. Even though I love that draw, I loved it so much. Don't get me wrong, it sounds completely different with the 5-inch straight pipe as well. I do still want to test the other two brand truck. Maybe even a Nissan Cummins, but that would just be for fun. I don't know if I'd ever make a decision on that, even though it is prepared with the ASIN transmission, which is the strong one that they put in the RAM, but the 3500s only. I wish they would change that. I wish they'd put it with the 2500s and not put the 60 RFE in it. But anyways, that was such a smooth ride. So I do want to test the other two brands being a Chevy Duramax and a Ford Power Stroke to really make a decision. I've said that before and I'll say it again. I don't want to admit it, but the Power Stroke has taken the lead for, at least in my mind, with the exterior. The Duramax has the best transmission and interior. And, of course, the Ram has the best engine. And the engine, I mean, that's the heart of the truck. It really comes down to the ride. I'm going to remember this ride. I'm going to remember that ride for a very long time, trust me. So we got to test the other two brands. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you love trucks as much as I do, hit that subscribe button. Peace out. Whoa.